my craft and decor friends, welcome back! My name is Shannon, today I'm gonna show you how to make your own miniature supermarket accessories for your Barbie dolls! We're gonna use all the materials that appear on your screen, and the best part is that they're gonna be super easy to make, so you definitely need to watch this video till the end! Let's take a closer look at everything we're gonna need for this craft, friends! First, some images of wrappers and logos of our favorite snacks and candies. We've got them from the internet. Then, some seed cardboard. A box of matches like this one. A cellophane bag. Some plastic beads in different shapes and colors. Acrylic paints. Some silicone sticks. A couple of cardboard boxes like the ones you see here. Nail polish. Black yarn. An acetate sheet, a hard plastic stick like this one, and finally some cardboard paper. Let's get started with our awesome supermarket accessories. We're gonna grab our larger box and we're gonna paint the color of our favorite ice cream band because it's gonna be a neat ice cream freezer. Don't forget to paint the sides as well, friends, just like this. Next, you need to lay the box on a sheet of cardboard paper and trace the contour of the bottom part like so. And with your scissors, cut out the shape we just traced. You just need to follow the lines trying to go as straight as possible. Then, we need to fold it in half. First firmly with your fingers and then cut it in half with your scissors. Just like these. Now, we need to use this popsicle stick to trace the frame on both of the pieces we just cut out. It is about 1 cm in white. And this is what it should look like, friends. Now we need to use our scissors once again to cut out the inner part, leaving just the frame. Do this with the other piece as well. Now let's paint them both with a tiny bit of Arctic white acrylic paint. Make sure you don't leave a single spot unpainted. Here we have our hand plastic stick. What we're gonna do is cut it to have the same dimensions as our freezer. We're gonna use these pliers for this, and you may need to ask for the help of a grown-up. Look, here we have all the pieces that we're gonna need. You need to make sure that they fit inside our freezer, because these are gonna be for our sliding door mechanism. As you can see, we've stuck a small piece of cardboard inside our freezer, and now we're gonna paint it with a little bit of taffy pink acrylic paint. And here we have our acetate sheet. Do you remember the frames we made previously? Well, now we need to stick them to the acetate so we can give our sliding door a neat glass. Look, once the glue is completely dry, we're gonna cut them out following the contour of the frames, like these. Now, let's stock our fridge with some of our favorite ice cream treats, popsicles and even ice cream sandwiches. We just need to use some of the images we printed out previously. How neat! And for the sliding doors, we're gonna use the frames that we made previously. Just place them like this, sticking them to the rails we attached previously. Look, our freezer looks incredible! And the best part is that the door actually slides! How neat! Now, we just need to attach all the cool logos and pictures to make it look super realistic. Fix them in place with a tiny bit of clear glue. To make it look even more like a real ice cream freezer, we're gonna make a cool sign. Let's paint this wooden stick with some blue and attach a cool menu card. Look, now all the customers will be able to look at the flavors and the prices. Let me know in the comments below which ice cream brand is your favorite, guys! Let's move on to our next supermarket item! We're gonna make some delicious chocolate bars! So let's start by tracing them on a piece of seed cardboard like this one! Look friends, we even drew the details of the small blocks! Now we need to give them some color, how yummy! As you can see, here we have the wrappers of some of our favorite chocolate brands! We have a Hershey's bar, a Crunch bar, and even a Wonka bar with the golden ticket! And all we gotta do now is grab our chocolate bars! Look friends, our chocolate bars look amazing and those gold wrappers make them look super realistic! 
let's make another cool miniature snack. For this one, we're gonna use some Doritos. All we gotta do is let them soak in this bowl with water. And look, guys, we've already printed a cool bag for miniature Doritos. Now, let's reinforce the bag with some tape like this. Now, take the Doritos out of the water and start cutting them into some thin strips. Then later on, we will cut into tiny Doritos. You just gotta cut some triangles like these ones. Look, guys, here we have our amazing miniature Doritos. Don't they look pretty tight? Then, we need to fill our Dorito bag so Barbie can enjoy a delicious snack. Let me know in the comments below which is your favorite type of Doritos. Mine are the Cool Ranch. Now let's move on to another cool accessory. We're gonna make a neat register. First, we need to paint our matchbox with some jet black acrylic paint. Then, we need a long box like this one, and we're gonna mark and cut some of the top part, just like we're doing here. And this is what it should look like. Then, you need to cut an opening along the front part of the box like so. a small strip of this cardboard that is gonna split the tray of our register into some smaller sections. So, let's attach it with some clear glue. Then, we need to paint it with some jet black to match the rest of the register. And with some more of the same jet black, we're also gonna paint a small piece of the long box. Next, we're gonna need a wooden stick like the one on your screen and a tiny square of this cardboard. Then, you need to grab a pointy tool like this one and pierce a hole in the middle of the cardboard. Look! We stuck our wooden stick to the cardboard and now we're gonna attach a piece of cardboard paper that we're gonna fold in half. This is gonna be the screen of the register. Then, we need to paint that cool screen with a little bit of the jet black acrylic paint. And here we have a super long and thin paper strip. We need to roll it with our fingers like so. Once you have something like this, we're gonna put it inside our box like so. This is gonna be the receipt dispenser. How neat! Now, let's add the cool details of our awesome cash register. Look, we printed out a keyboard and a screen display that will make it look super realistic. For the press scanner, we've attached this black bead to a piece of black yarn. And on the other end, we're gonna slip this small piece of bendy straw and we're gonna cover it with some tape. Then, you gotta flatten out the tip of the straw and use some more tape to fix it in place. Wow, this press scanner is gonna look pretty awesome! Then, paint it with some black acrylic paint. And finally, we just need to attach the press scanner to the rest of our register. It looks exactly like the one on the supermarket! Wow, guys, our cash register looks incredible! Just look at all the amazing details like the keyboard and the price scanner! The best part is that you can actually open it and put in some cash! For our next awesome item, we're gonna need a silicone stick like this one. Let's cut it very carefully into some small pieces like so. And look, here we have the image of a Fanta can! All we need to do is drop our silicone piece with it and we'll have a cool miniature soda. Now, let's make it look super realistic by painting the top and the bottom parts with some of this awesome metallic silver nail polish. Look friends, now Barbie can enjoy a refreshing drink. The coolest part is that you can make all the sodas and flavors that you want. Our last item of the day is gonna be a sweet package of white bread. So let's start making the shape of the slices in a piece of stiff cardboard, just like this. And here we have a small cellophane bag that we need to cut exactly in half, like these pants. Then, we need to use some tape to seal this side of the bag and create a new one. This is what our new bag should look like, friends. Now we can put all our bread slices inside. Look at all the slices we made! They are super cute! But now we just need to paint the edges with some brown acrylic paint for the crust. Do you like your sandwiches with or without the crust, friends? Tell me in the comments! And to make it super realistic, we're gonna paint the slices with this yellow chalk. 
You can use different shades of orange and some brown to make it look pretty cool. Look! This is how all our bread slices ended up looking. Now we can pack them. We printed this logo of the bread from the internet. And now we can put it inside the bag with all the bread. Stack the slices like this. Look! It is pretty awesome! Now we just need to tie it. First, twist the top and then use some wire like this one to fasten it. How cool! And that was it for today, friends! Here we have all our sweet miniature supermarket accessories for our Barbie dolls! Here we have our ice cream freezer filled with some delicious treats! Then, we have our miniature Doritos! Next, we have the delicious chocolate bars and the super refreshing sodas! And over there we have the white bread and my favorite, the cash register! Let me know in the comments below which was your favorite! Woo! Subscribe to our channel and ring the bell for more fantastic videos! Don't forget to give us a like and that we love you so much! See you next time! Bye bye!